Hello everyone. In this video, we are trying to summarize the Croc classification method in North Indian. I have to say this, uh, this video is not the comprehensive guide in this topic. Uh, it won't be helpful, I believe, for any advanced learners. Uh, we are summarizing the codes and uh, trying to see how the process is actually working. Uh, so the crop classification is a very dense or very compact topic in itself. Um, and the topic uh, crop classification is not about the codes only, uh, but also about the steps or methods uh, that is developed by the uh, resourceful or by the expert uh, user and rather than going to the courts only um, i'll try to uh, i'll try my best to summarize the steps uh, for the cloth classification and i hope this will be helpful uh, if you are new to this uh, and if you're watching about the crop classification for the very first time I hope uh, you will learn something. So the very first steps starts with importing the country boundaries um, by filtering it from the feature collection, and we add that it uh, we add the uh, country as a layer. So this whole chunks of codes is working for that one, adding the country as the layer. Then we have the training points and validation points imported. Uh, training points and validation points are divided uh, in 70 to 30 ratio. 70% of the points are used for training and 30% of the uh, remaining points are used for validations. So this is the general steps uh, usually followed in uh, such classification process. And we also have the area of interest. Uh, that is uh, where the um, crop classification will be done. And this uh, classification, uh, in particular, works on uh, classifying the uh, maize growing area with uh, not non uh, maize growing area. So two different um, areas are being classified in this example. And we import sample to theory of dense and its corresponding crowd probability uh, collections. So these are the two uh, data sets related to Sentinel-2. And here we have the start and end dates. And here we have the function to uh, select one of those images uh, that are in our area of interest. And that is uh, for, that is, um, and filter with, that is filtered with the start date and end dates. And this function takes four different uh, parameters and work for that one. And we apply that function here. And here we have the function. Uh, there are two functions. Uh, the, fo was, uh, the very first function uh, joins the cloud variable here to the relevant emis. And the second one applies the cloud uh, mask, where the cloud probability is greater than 50%. So these uh, two functions are there. The first function, the very, the very first function here, uh, works on that. Uh, it joins two collections. Uh, based on the system index. So, and we have the second function here to uh, create, uh, which is creating a cloud masking. So these two functions are applied. Here we are joining uh, the two uh, two data sets by its cloud probability. The fun uh, function one is applied. And the second function here is working on cloud probability greater than 50 percent so and then after we apply the median uh, for that for those pixels and we're calculating the difference between each image and the median values and then we generate the composite image uh, by selecting those pixels uh, that is closest to the median and this particular process here uh, depends upon the case it's not uh, really uh, some process that has to be done uh, this is the process uh, that was that were developed by the uh, um, advanced learners and this is based on their methodology so it might depend whether to use directly use maiden values or something as you know calculating the difference and then 
during the composition event. So it depends, but here the process is going like that. We calculate the median values. Uh, we are calculating the difference between each image and the median. And we are composing the image by selecting only those pixels closest to the median values. And finally, from this whole process, we, we get the mosaic image. Uh, that image is bound. Uh, that image is uh, is free from clouds. We have maxed um, the area where the cloud probability is greater than 50%. And uh, the, we get the mosaic image. And we move to the classification. Here we select the bands to be used for the classification. And the objective is to um, find the different area between maze and non-maze area. And here we have the training points uh, extracted to get the reflectance values. And then we train the card classifier. And these are the famous uh, classifiers. For CRT stands for classification and regression trees. And second one is RF or the random forest, classi uh, random forest classifier. So these two topics are themselves very large and uh, very big topics. But here, uh, here we are. And this uh, is done by ee.classifier.smilecard and ee.classifier.smilerandomforest. And here, uh, the default parameters are used. Um, we have the features, that is training, that we defined earlier. And we have class property, that is a class, and the input properties are bands. And these two, um, these two classifiers are trained, and we finally classify the image um, from that training done previously. So here is dot classify by the training, dot classify by the training. And um, we have the visualization here. And we add them as the layer. So we click the collection to area of interest and we apply them as the layer. And we also get the confusion matrix. Um, confusion matrix is to see whether the uh, classification was done properly or not. And uh, this helps to know the uh, accuracy of the classifiers. And we print the model accuracy results as well. So these are printed. And we also work for the validation. And validation are done similarly, but by the remaining points. Um, that is 30% of the total points. And we do the same process, repeat the same process. And we um generate the error matrix and accuracy uh, for the board classifiers again so here we have the validation accuracy results and we can uh, we can also export the classified map uh, maybe for a further analysis and here from ee.image.pixel area uh, we can get the uh, actual area of the maze uh, uh, cultivation area. And we calculate the area from this way. We apply the reducer and some other parameters are provided here and we get the area in square meters. And if, when we run this, when we run this here, we have the training accuracy and we have here uh, overall accuracy, error metrics, and similarly also we also have this for validation accuracy, overall accuracy, uh, error metrics, and we also have the um, area for the for the crops. And if we uh, check the layers here. The first one was Nigeria, Nigeria border, and then after we have the 
training points and the validation points. We had our area of interest. We had our single two images. And we had applied two different uh, classifications. So here we have the card and RF. So So if we check here, it's taking a little time. So uh, we certainly need more uh, uh, literature review to be sure about the process. And actually more study, I would say. Uh, this topic requires, uh, of course, requires more study, uh, more understanding of the classification methods. And uh, I'll, I'll personally try to source other uh, sources and maybe prepare more content related to this. Or if you have suggestions, uh, please feel free to comment. So we have here two layers. So I hope this was um, helpful, a um, little helpful for at least some extent. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm, I'm sure this would not be helpful for any advanced learners. And this was this video is actually, you know, we to learn myself and in the way to learn to interpret things. So um, this much in this video. Uh, thank you for watching.